Hello friends, welcome to Textra Diesel. In this video, I will make an IoT based smart switch using this tiny circuit which you can easily purchase from the Amazon under 200 rupees. Here you can see I have placed the complete circuit inside a switch box. Now if the Wi-Fi is connected, you can easily control any appliances with Google Home and Amazon Alexa app. Apart from that, you can also control the appliances with the voice command. Alexa, turn on smart switch. Okay. Hey Google, turn off smart switch. Got it. Turning off the smart switch. And if the Wi-Fi is not connected, still you can control the appliances with this manual switch. And the best part of this project, you don't have to write any code. The Syndic Pro will generate the code for you. You just have to upload the code to related microcontroller. During the video, I have explained all the steps in details. So after watching the complete video, anyone can make this project within 5 minutes. And you can also design this type of PCB to add more features to this circuit using the Altium PCB designer software. This video is sponsored by Altium which is a world class PCB designer software trusted by the most of the big electronic companies. The user interface is so simple you can easily design any complex PCBs in Altium. Now Altium came up with an amazing product called Altium 365. Altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAT, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365 you can not only design PCBs but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. It also provides automatic backup, centralized cloud storage and a lot more. And along with all this, they do have a very useful search engine just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any electronic components, compare the price and availability around the globe. Apart from that, you can also check the datasheet. Altium provides everything to make your production task a lot easier and now you can download the free trial version of the Altium PCB designer software from the description and use all these services in your next PCB design. These are the required components for this project. To program the ESP01, you can either use FTDI232 or you can also use Adreno Uno. Here we are going to use FTDI232. So first we have to select the 3.3 volt for VCC. Now we will connect the FTTI 232 with the ESP01 as per this circuit diagram. In the circuit, I have connected the GPIO0 with the ground. After giving the supply, you have to press the reset button to go to programming mode. I have already covered this in my previous video. You can find the link in the description and I button. And if you want to use Arduino for programming, then you can refer this circuit. Now let me quickly configure the Synric Pro for the ESP01. You can search Synric Pro in the Google or you can find a link in the description. Now if you are doing it first time then you have to click on sign up then create an account in the Synric Pro. You just have to enter the email ID and some other details to create an account. I already have an account so I will click on login and login to my Synric Pro account. Now first we have to create a device. So I'll click on devices. Under the free plan, you can create maximum three device. So here we will create one device to control one relay. So I'll click on add device, then give a name, say smart switch. In the description, I will just copy paste it. Then device type will be switch in my case. Then you can select any room or you can leave it as it is. Then I will click on next. Now if you want any notification related to this device, then you can turn on or off this radio button. I am keeping as it is. And you can also set timer for that device. Again, I am keeping as it is. Now I will click on save. So our device is created and here you can see the device ID, app key and app secret which you have to mention in the code. But you can also use their zero code features to generate the code automatically for the ESP8266 devices. So if I go to device again, here you can see this is our device we have just created. Now I will just click on zero code then here I will select the device as there is no switch connected with the GPIO pin of the ESP01. So I am 
selecting no button connected otherwise you can select the switch type which is connected with the related microcontroller then click on next then here i have to enter the gpio which is connected with the relay in my case the gpio 0 is connected with the relay so i have entered 0 then click on next then here you have to enter the wi-fi name and the password after that click on download so let me save the code now let me go to the download folder now let me unzip this file now let me open it with the Arduino IDE. So here you can see the code generated automatically by the Cynric Pro. And you can use this code both for the ESP266 or ESP32. Now here is our Wi-Fi credential and the app key and app secret. And this is the device ID. So everything is generated automatically. Now as you are using active low relay module, we just have to change these two lines. We just have to enter a exclamation symbol before this state variable as you can see. But if you want to control LED or if you want to control active high relay module, then you don't have to change these lines. You can keep as it is. As my relay turn on for the low signal in the control pin and turn off for the high signal in the control pin as you are using active low relay module. For that, we have to reverse this boolean value. So that we have entered this exclamation symbol before the state variable and i will add another line in the code just to turn off the relay initially whenever we reset or restart the microcontroller so for that i will just copy this line and paste it under the pin mode function so it will just turn off the relay whenever we reset the microcontroller and here you can see we are sending high signal to turn off the relay and again if you are controlling a led or any active high relay you don't have to do any changes in the code and you can also download it from the description so after doing these small changes we can directly upload this code to our microcontroller now go to tool select the board as generic esp8266 module so here i have selected this board then select the proper com port then hit the upload button here you can see the code uploaded successfully now we will connect the esp01 with the relay module then connect the relay module with the switch socket and supply as per the circuit diagram so here i have used this type of ac 2 dc power supply but you can use any other 5 volt power supply available with you and the switch is connected across the common and ino terminal of the relay module so the switch is not connected with any gpio of the esp01 and instead of the socket you can also connect any bulb or any other appliances as per this circuit now go to Cynic pro dashboard you just have to click here and this is our dashboard and here you can see this device is online now to turn on the relay i will just click on the turn on you can see the relay turn on now let me turn it off i will just click on turn off and it will turn off now let me place the complete circuit inside the box as per the circuit now here you can see I have placed the circuit inside this box and I have turned on the supply. Now first I will open the Google Home app then I will go to device then I will add device so click on add then select works with Google Home then here you have to search for Cindric Pro then select the Cindric Pro then tap on continue here you have to log in your Cindric Pro account. So let me enter the email id and the password for the Cynric Pro then tap on sign in it may take some time now go to dashboard refresh the screen and here you can see the Cynric Pro device let me connect a lamp with this plug now if I tap here you can see the light turns on if I tap here again the light turns off and you can also add some automation if you want so the device will automatically turn on and off as per the automation now i will connect it with the amazon alexa app so let me open the amazon alexa app then i will go to more so i will tap on more then select skills and games here you have to search for Cynric pro so let me tap on the Cynric pro so here is the skill let me tap on it then tap on enable to use again you have to log in your Cynric pro account tap on next so here you can see one Cynric Pro plug found and connected. Now tap on done. So here you can see the smart switch is connected. Again, let me turn it on. I just have to press the button. The lamp turns on. If I press it again, the lamp turns off. And if the Wi-Fi is not connected, you can still control the light with this switch. 
so here you can see our project is ready now you can able to control any appliances with this smart switch so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day